In doubly reinforced sections, uh, we can also solve for C directly using uh, quadratic. So to do this, we'll start with equilibrium. So we'll start with our tension equal to compression. Our tension forces, uh, we have just our tension steel. So we'll have AS times FY. And on our compression side, we'll have our compression steel, AS prime, FS prime. We're going to assume that our steel doesn't yield. And then we'll have our uh, compression component from our concrete in 0.85 F prime C B beta 1 C. We can use our strain diagram and Hooke's law, uh, as we've done before, uh, to find an expression uh, for our stress in our compression steel uh, with regard to C. So we'll find our F prime S is equal to uh, 0 0.003 times ES times C minus D prime over C. We can then plug this expression into our equilibrium expression. So we'll have A S F Y equal to A S prime 0 0.003 E S times C minus D prime over C plus 0.85 F prime C B times beta 1 C. The next thing that we need to do is rearrange this expression to uh, isolate C um, in the form of a quadratic. Uh, so we'll rearrange and we can have 0.85 F prime C times B times beta 1 and all this times C squared. And then we'll have plus 0 0.003 a S prime times E S minus A S F Y all this times C and then we'll subtract 0 0.003 times A S prime times E S times d prime. And all of this is equal to zero. So we can see then we have an expression for A, an expression for B, and an expression for C that we can use uh, to solve for C Um, using our quadratic formula. We can now use the expressions that we derived on the previous page to solve for C in this example using the quadratic method. First, uh, we need to find out if we need to use the quadratic method, and we do this by uh, seeing if our compression steel yields. Um, so I did that already here in, in the right-hand corner, and you can see that um, if we go through assuming that the steel yields, we'll find out that the steel um, doesn't yield. So we need to use uh, either the iterative method or the quadratic method. Um, so here we're going to use the quadratic method. The first thing we need to do is plug in our values in all of our uh, uh, three variables, A, B, and C. Uh, so A, we have 0.85 times F prime C, which is 4 KSI times our B, which is 14 inches, 
times our beta 1 is 0.85 uh, for our, our 14 inches. And this will give us a value of 40.46. We can then plug in and find our B. So we'll have 0 0.003 times 2 square inches times 29,000 KSI minus 4 inches squared times 60 KSI, and we'll get a B equal to negative 66. We can then plug in for our C, so we have negative 0 0.003 times 2 inches squared times 29,000 KSI. And then times our D prime, which is 2.564 inches, which will give us a C of negative 446.1. When we plug these values into our quadratic expression, we can find our C will be equal to 4. 0.235 inches. We can then plug this into our uh, expression to find our stress in the compression steel. So 0 0.003 times 29,000 times 4.235 minus 2.564, the depth of our uh, compression steel divided by C, 4.235. And we'll find our FS prime to be 34.3 KSI. These are then the two values that will move forward within our design. So we have our C, and we have our Fs prime for the remainder of our design.